Spectacular views of the Isle of Wight and a ticket into a quiet lifestyle, yours for just £145,000. Unfortunately, the lump sum doesn't include running water, mains electricity or even a loo. Yet Andrew Dennison of Dennison's estate agents in Christchurch is the man in charge of selling the shack that oddly has a whole waiting list of buyers scratching at the post. I don't know if it's a heavy price tag. I mean, uh, we just sold the one down the road for for 126,000. I've got some people that have been on the phone this morning. Um, they sound quite serious. You only need 10 minutes down here, and you realise what what a lovely part of the world it is, and it's quite quirky. I mean, uh, we've been asked to sell many things, including boats. So huts isn't unusual, really. The secluded spit is home to more than 400 of the beach huts, but residents of Christchurch seem less than impressed with the price tag attached to them. Nice area and everything else, but it's just too much money for what it is. Absolutely. I think it's scandalous. Yes, it is a lot of money, but if I had 145000 I would buy it. Its remoteness means it can only be reached by ferry or its own noddy train, but for the flock of potential buyers trying to get their hands on a hut, this could be the start of a new summer obsession. This is BBC News, Motherford.